What's going on guys? Hardware Junkies here, today bringing you an updated version on how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire Stick. In the latest version we have Kodi version 17.6 installed with a build that's going to include all the latest add-ons so that you can get all your movies nice and easily from your Fire Stick. So if you already have it jailbroken and you just want the build, you can go ahead and skip ahead to that part of the video. If not, we're going to jump right in on how to jailbreak your stick. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the settings and go down here and then go to device and go to developer options and enable ADD debugging and apps from unknown sources you want to turn that on. Then you can go back to the home screen and go to search and then we're going to go down and type in downloader and as you can see it pops up in the suggestions there so click on Downloader, and then it's this orange one right here, so we'll click on that. And then we're just going to click on Download, or for you it'll probably say Get. So click on that, and that's going to go ahead and download. And once that installs, we can then open the app up. click OK to accept that and we're just going to type in a URL here I have it shortened for you guys and then that's the link that it is now so for you guys just double check the description and make sure it's still the same because it could be updated in the future but that's the one we're going to use now so just hit play to go and that's going to go ahead and download that app for us then you're just going to make sure that it goes to install if it didn't do it automatically. And then we're going to click on install right here. And then once that's done, you're just going to go ahead and click on open. That's going to launch up. And now you're going to be inside Cody. So, the first thing inside Kodi you're going to want to do is go to Settings, and then go down to File Manager, and we're going to go Add Source, click on the Path button, and type in the link that is down in the description, so let me type that in real quick. So as you can see, that link is that right now, um, neutrology.com slash repo. In the future, it might be different, so just double check your description just to make sure it's completely updated. So we can click on OK here and then we're gonna go back to the Kodi main menu so just go back a couple pages and then we're gonna go down to add-ons go up to this little box in the top then we're gonna go install from zip file and click on settings we want to enable unknown sources click yes and then go back and we can again go to install from zip then we want to go down to where it says repo and then we can go down to plugin.video.dmitv so that one right there we're gonna go there so click on that that's gonna then install our repo for us so if we go down to program add-ons it's going to pop up here as soon as it downloads. There it is. So we're going to click on there. And from here, then we're going to go down to the settings. And you need to use a computer or phone to get the code. The code is down in the description. So let me grab that. That's going to be on a website that's going to look just like this here and the code will show up right there just like that so you're going to use the, whatever code it has there it'll be different for you guys but um, for us that's what our code is so we're going to type that in real quick and then we can click on OK click on OK again and then we're going to go to install slash update and then we want to go down to boom shakalaka Kodi 17. You can do the base or the XXX. Um, 
whatever one you want, the XXX will have the adult content on it. So you can just select whichever one you want there. Then you just click yes to continue. And then do either full or overwrite. If you don't have uh, settings already preset in Cody, you're just going to do the full um, just to make sure it's all cleaned up. If you know what the overwrite does, then go ahead and use it. But um, for the most part, you're just going to want to use full. That's going to go ahead and download. And then once that's done, you'll be pretty much set to go. All right, so as you can see, that's finished downloading now. So um, you're going to get a process complete notification. From here, you're going to click on OK. Now we got to um, force stop the app, so you're going to go to the home screen again of the Fire Stick, so hit the home button on your remote. Then you want to go over to settings, go down to apps, so we click on that. And then we want to go to manage installed applications. Go down and find Kodi, click on it. We're going to do a force stop and then click on launch. Now what that's going to do is it's going to clear out all of the old information that was on Kodi so that it can now relaunch with everything that we just downloaded without having any issues. So as you can see that's going to launch up into the Demetrology build. Um, from here you can find your movies. Uh, you got live TV on the left. Movies, TV shows, music, kids, sports, fitness, um, video on demand, pretty much everything that you need. Um, when you first launch it, it's going to take, give it like a couple minutes to catch up to itself. It has to download and update a couple of the add-ons, so it might be a little bit slow, so if it is, just give it a minute. It should catch up to itself. Um, if you have any issues with speed, you can go to system, and you can go to maintenance, and then there's a clear cache button in there and that should help speed up your build. Um, if there's an update available, you'll find that by going to System, Update Build, and then you're just going to have to go get that code one more time when you click it and do the install of the updated version, pretty much the same way that we just installed this. It's pretty easy to do, so um, as you can see those notifications are popping up, meaning that it is catching up to itself now. Um, and if you want to find movies, you basically just click on movies. If you want to find a TV show, just click on TV shows. Um, again, you can go to movies, and if you go down to the sub menu below it, uh, if you have a track TV or something set up, you can use my movies to track what you're watching. And then there's all the different add-ons that he has for movies right in the bottom here. So you can use a different add-on if one of them's not working. There it goes, it's building the menus and stuff. So I can't really launch anything to show you guys how to pr exactly use it, but you can figure it out. It's pretty easy to do. So that's about it for this um, information on how to update your Fire Stick. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up um, to get the word out there. Share it with your friends. Uh, if you want more videos on Cody, you can subscribe. We're trying to push out some updates on new information with Cody. So uh, that's all I got for you now, and we'll see you next time.